Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful Hitrol style flower retro bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like I did these earrings and I'll link them here at the eye icon to see. They are slightly different than the bracelet and slightly bigger. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips in description. Now I have timestamps on my videos so you could go forward and backward as you wish. For example, skip the intro and so on. Now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 0 seed beads. You could use 10 0 seed beads and if you want, you could use less colors than I use here. I have a lobster claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is nylon thread. The brand is Nemo. It is size D and the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take three feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start by picking up 12 of these beautiful dark red beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here, which is 4 times 3, and I'm going to slide those down. Almost until the end of this thread, I will stick my needle in my mat and here uh, what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then I pull again and now guys I have this circle of beads here and what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, guys, I'm going to pick up one dark orange bead, three light orange beads and one dark orange bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle, five beads. And I'm as I'm exiting here, you see, I'm going to skip the next beat and go through the following. You see what I'm doing? Skip the next and go through the following. Okay, and I pull. Now, what I do next is the same thing. I take one dark orange, three light orange beads, and one dark orange. Okay, this is what I have. And then I skip the next that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay. And I'll show you one more time. Okay. And now I'll show you faster three more times. Okay. 
Okay, guys, and now I'm going here through these two beads, just like this, the dark orange and the light orange, and I'm going to pick up three yellow beads, and I'm going here only through the light orange. Okay, now I need to take one black bead and I need to go here through this light orange bead, just like this. And I'm going to pick up three yellow beads. And I skip the next orange and go through the following. And now I need to take one black bead and I'm going here in this orange. Then I'm going to pick up three yellows. Skip the one that's here in the center and go like this. Then I'm taking one black bead. And I'm going here in this orange. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this cute flower here. And what I'm going to do next is go through all of those yellow beads here at the top, all of those three yellows, and I'm going to pick up three black beads. Okay, I have three. And then I will do the same thing. I'm going through the next three yellow beads. Okay, three. And go here. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. See you in a while. Okay, and I have here my last three beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is exit after these three black beads, okay, after them. Then what I want to take are three dark red beads and I'm going back in circle through these three black beads, okay, just like this, in circle, okay. When I pull, you see here I have a loop between those two rows of beads. And now here, guys, I'm going to pick up five blue beads. I have my five. And I'm going in these three black beads. Just like this. And I need three. And I go back through these three. Then I need five. And I go through these three. Then I need three. And I go back like this. And what I need next are five blue beads. Okay, five. Oops, there are six. I need five. And I'm going here through these three blacks. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to continue this the same way until the end of this row.
okay and I just added my last five beads here and what I need to go to do guys next is go and reinforce this whole row because I want to connect the blue beads with the dark red beads and make them stay in a nice and better shape without moving and going up and down I'm just connecting my last row creating a new thread pad okay I will continue this and I'll meet you here okay guys and when I continue going around this is what I have my beads stay in a better shape now and now I think it's time to cut this tail thread okay and one element of my bracelet is ready I will do another element like this and I'll be back okay guys and I did absolutely the same element like I showed you before and I will show you how I start my bracelet and how I connect them. Before I connect them, I will show you how I'm going to attach my clasp. Okay, so now I'm exiting here out of this blue bead. And what I'm going to pick up are six black beads. Okay, six black beads. Slide those down. And then I'm going to pick up my clasp, slide it down as well. And then I'm going to pick up six more black beads. Okay, six. And I'm going in the same place in this blue bead that's sticking out the most. Okay. And now I have this and now guys what I want to do is reinforce this joint that I did here Okay, and after I reinforce it, I will make a knot and cut my thread and I choose a place between two beads and I make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and now if you want, you could repeat this knot several times and when you're ready with the last knot, you could cut your thread. And now the beginning of your bracelet is ready. Okay, now I will take my other element that I did. And I didn't cut my thread and I have my needle here on it. And what I'm going to do is take one black bead. And I will go back here like this. From one of the blues to the other one. And then I will go back in circle through the same blue. Okay, I have this now. And I'm pulling. And then guys, I'm going to reinforce this joint.
Okay, guys, and after I reinforce this part here, now I will make a knot and cut my thread. Then I will make another element like this without cutting my thread and I will attach it here in the same way that I showed you. And in this way, I will assemble the whole bracelet. Okay, continue this process. And when I have six elements, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and you see when I continue beading and adding more and more elements, this is what I have. And I'm here at my final element. And what I want to do is go here at this side after I reinforce it. I want to go through all of those beads and reach this blue bead. Okay, and now I'm going to pick up 12 black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. And as I'm exiting through this blue bead, I'm going here in the other blue. Okay. Now what I do is that I'm going to reinforce this joint several times like I did here from this side. It is the same if you don't remember how I did it. Just rewind the video. Okay, I'm reinforcing it i'm making a knot and i'll be back okay guys and now i have this part ready just like this one and what i do is that i open here my jump ring i put it on here and i squeeze back okay and now guys my Hitchol style bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have these earrings matching this bracelet and I'm giving a link here at the eye icon to see. So that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. And down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And down there, you will also see links to my social networks and you could share your beautiful works on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.